spread your wings, Sulu. Shall we lock horns? If you suck it back faster than me. Ah, is it the silver? Think you can swim with the best? And ask her to shake asses with you. I've never made a dance with anyone before. I struggle to be surprised. I was caught. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon. I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! To Hafdan King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, Stout Oak of Valkyries, Spinner of Battle Wisdom, long may you live and rule. Skull! Moira, what is this metal? It's soft, like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Cheese your weapon, Farid. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Halfdan, stop! 
This is a man of honor. You stand beside this... this traitor? I do. Let truth guide us here, not madness. <gasps> I am Halfdan Ragnarsson, Wolf of War, Lord of Jorvik, Ruler of Men! I am King! Not my king. I will not bow to a man who accuses me of treason. In days yet to come, men will sing the praises of Haftan and scorn the life of Faravid the betrayer. You are the hero of a coward's tale. A man who hid behind his best men and claimed their victories for his own. You are banished. Out! Never again set foot in my lands! Thank you, King. I... No more. Leave me. like trouble. You are fearfully quiet, Eivor. One should never break a silence What's without reason. Going? For Northumbria, now that Hafton is king, many may suffer if his madness goes unchecked. And who is to blame for his madness, Faravid? I should demand an apology for that, but there is no need. Soon I shall be long gone, far away across the whale road where the fates guide me. Something's got to be of the road. Goodbye, Eivor. Did you know about the goblets, the lead? Now is the time for truth. I hope one day we may raise our spears together, old friend. We hope for many things in this life, yet we earn so few of them. Now, now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranty. Let's tell him. Seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Yes, yes, 
one more, and only because you all have such good days. Now, this, this one begins in long time ago. The Wolfka. So glad to see you. Randvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun. Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my silk cloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. The scrolls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <laughs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return? Exactly. Yes. All right. I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hog has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet! Let me speak. I have much to consider and should like to hear your st... All right. I might have... It was garbage! Yet... Oh, I... Quiet! After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holge, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holge the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. 
30 times. Surely your chest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay Prax, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... 30 times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law. Whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I entered Jovik Shire to meet Halfton Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfton the King. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. <laughs> 